Hey guys, for this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a loose, floppy steering wheel on a lawn tractor. Now I have a Craftsman, but this will be the same for a bunch of different makes of tractors. And all we're replacing is this little plastic steering shaft bushing. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and we'll see a little before and after. No bueno. So first, we gotta take the steering wheel off. So you got this little cap here. Just get your fingers underneath, pull that right off. Kind of take that nut off. Use a three quarter inch socket. Washer. Steering wheel pulls right off. You also have this little, I don't know, adapter guy, whatever it is. Just pull that off. Now what we are changing is that black bushing along the shaft where it goes through that plate so we gotta pop out the old one and bring in the new one let's see if i look at the shaft see that I'm trying to fix that slop now you might be able to make life easier on yourself by taking out the gas tank some people have a battery here but there's just a bolt on either side and you could slide it out to reach in there better i'm gonna try and work around it So I'm going to use this little flat blade screwdriver, try and pop this little bushing up. Okay, so it's out of its place. Slide it up the shaft and try and catch it with my other hand. Taking it off, this other little collar just popped off. So look, it just got even easier. So here is our old bushing. So you can compare the two and you can see the left one is definitely a bigger hole than the right side. So we're hoping once this gets put in, it fixes our problem. You notice this arrow here on the back side, there's a notch and that lines up with that notch just to the front of the tractor in that hole there. So we're gonna slide this guy down the shaft. You can see how much of a tighter fit it is than the other thing that just fell off. We're going to need some way to push that bushing all the way down. So I'm going to try two long handled screwdrivers, get one on either side and just push it down. So we got it most of the way down there, but we got to make sure the little tabs on either side go underneath that plate. And remember your triangle there is pointing to your tab that you have to match up with the notch. I just use the screwdriver with a little mallet, give it a few taps. We're in place. Let's see what it looks like with the steering wheel now. Much better. So there it is. That's how easy it is to fix sloppiness in the steering wheel.